Oh no. What a disaster. We'll talk about that. He's quite poor. Hello and welcome, my name is Ian, this channel is all about music and art and what I sometimes do is I sometimes do repair type work and in this case I have been asked to repair this cassette. Now this cassette, um, the tape has disappeared inside of the case and it's worth mentioning that first of all there are two different types of cassettes. If you look at this one, we've got a cassette here which has got five screws which are holding the whole of the case together. Uh, the other type is this type. And when we open this one and have a look at this, you'll see there are no screws. Uh, so it's basically stuck together. Now, if this was the case, what we would, excuse the pun, what we would need to do here is we would have to smash this out of case and have a spare cassette case ready to go, a screwable cassette case ready to go so we would be able to transfer all of the tape to a new case. Um, luckily we don't need to do that on here. Um, we're assuming that the problem is that the tape has snapped but it could be that the problem is that the tape's just broke away from the end of the uh, end of the, the little cog um, and we won't know that till we actually get into the case. The things that we need for this job are we need a screwdriver that will fit the actual screws and it's a, a very small Phillips type cross head screwdriver. We also need something called scotch tape. Now scotch tape will be there to uh, join two pieces of audio tape together. And the, uh, the, the first thing we need to do before we do anything else is we either wash our hands and because we're still in a pandemic we've got plenty of hand sanitizer so I'm going to just clean my hands and the, the main reason for doing this is to get rid of any uh, grease that might be on your hands that type of thing before we actually start um, and there's all sorts of hand sanitizers out there you don't want the really greasy claggy stuff this stuff is, it evaporates very very quickly uh, Hands are now dry, job done, really. So right, let's have a look at this cassette. So the screws are out and we need to gently prise these apart now this one there it is it's come uh, there was a little bit of resistance along that top edge there um, but so that's fine as you'll see here we've actually we've got this piece of card and we need to keep that so I'm just going to move that out of the way and we can see exactly what's happened here what's happened is that the tape oops make sure that that's back in where it needs to be the tape has come away from this part of the actual reel and that little bit of plastic there will fit in there I've just gone and grabbed a pair of tweezers out a little, out of, from a little manicure set and uh, a magnifying glass really so that I can have a, a really good look at what is going on here. Now this leader tape, which we can touch actually because it's not magnetic tape. Um, we, the reason we don't want to touch the actual magnetic tape or we want to handle it as little as possible is we can leave marks on it and actually 
damage to whatever is on the actual tape. Um, but the leader tape is just plastic tape. So we don't need to worry too much about this. Now it's obviously going to have to come around this part here. And then through there, oops, and then around here. So if I grab my tweezers and I just Let's see whether it's going to run correctly. It's not going to run correctly there. I need it to be through that bit there. And as you can see, it's quite fiddly to do this now we can take this reel and we want to grab the other piece and make sure that they're not broken in any way Oh, they are broken. Right, okay. <clears throat> it's, it's very difficult to see actually, but if I... So, this little piece here, which is actually broken, it's snapped in two. So we need to deal with that. Right, so what I'm going to attempt to do is I've found some um, super glue and I'm going to attempt to try and super glue the broken part back in permanently. Now, I really only need this cassette to last uh, probably two or three plays because it's going to be digitized. So uh, if I can get it to work, happy days. Uh, if this doesn't work, it isn't the end of the world. I'll find an old cassette case and transfer the actual tape to a new housing without a broken uh, cog. So, let's try this now then. So it needs to be going the same way around, which it is. That's good. Now that would go in there like so. Get it to stay there. This would then go in there. If I can find some way of actually making these work together. I think what we'll do is a small dab of super glue, we'll hold it in place. So a small dab of super glue on there. Put the top back on straight away. So keep it, it doesn't go off. And then stick that into there. If I can get it to hold. <laughs> Right, we'll just keep that moving around a bit while it dries and then we'll try and put the, the little bit of broken plastic back over. Okay, so the moment of truth. Uh, let's see whether this has actually worked and what we're trying to do. It still feels a little bit tacky. Uh, well, no, it's not really. It's never really going to work. 
So, time for plan B. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to try and transfer the tape, really. Um, and I'm going to do that to this cassette. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut this end off that we've been... So we just... Oops. Just cut that off there. So, and what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and join the two leaders from this cassette onto that. Now, because this is all starting to unravel a little bit, what I think we need to do is we need to just wind it back in a bit. It's just... I don't really want to touch it, but needs must really so let's try and wind that back round a bit I'm sort of trying just to touch the edge and I'm guiding it back onto the real power oh. and it comes off again. Let's try that again. It's a fiddly old business. with that as it is now so we'll dismantle this cassette oh, God's sake. so here's where the pencil trick comes into it oh no not that pencil I need something a bit thicker. Not that thick. There we go. So here's how the pencil trick works. So we can wind. Now, we don't want to be at the end. We want to be somewhere around about there. Because what we're going to do is split this tape and splice it back together. The one thing we didn't look before is actually we are better if we can taking this bit off first. Now the problem we've got here is that two of the screws have probably dropped out. So I need to try and get the screws to come out in some way. It's not going to have it. Right, so we're all batteries changed because batteries on both cameras just about died. So we're now about to um, cut the the tape, and what I want to do is I want to just pull it through here. Not from the ah, okay. One of those ones with the 
spindles which are loose <coughs> they fit on the other, other side So actually what I'm what I'm thinking is I might just start reconstruct this over the other side. So see where the spindles are here, so I'll put everything back on this side. Chop that. And then take this spindle and put it on there, like so. And then take our reel, which I will try and lift somehow there we go so if I hold it by the edge it should be okay wind the tip back onto it tape onto the reel there so you don't need that bit we still need this bit we'll come back to that when we put it all back together so the next job is to actually create a splice now I've left a little bit of extra tape and having listened to this tape, it sounds terrible. So we're not worried about it, but we're gonna use it just to, to join our two ends to give us a bit more length. Now what we need to do is we need to make some thin strips of tape, which is sort of the thickness and I'm going to make a few just in case I need more than one. So there's one. They need to be about the thickness of the tape. If they're too thick, what will happen is that it will get stuck in the mechanism. I might come back to make some more of those, but we'll see how we get on first. And what we do is lay this down like so. Now ideally we'd have a proper splicing block but I haven't got one. Um, actually I think what I will do is I will put something with weight holding the tape in place so that might so that will hold that and I want something to hold the other side that might do it when in doubt use a robot There 
it needs to be fairly in line there looks good No, that's not going to do it, I don't think. Let's try it this way then. So, that onto there. And then. Now what? If I have a, if I had a splicing block, uh, what I would have done was I'd done it with a splicing block and then only done one side. But because I haven't got a splicing block and it won't really matter so much for here, I think we're going to be able to get away with being able to put tape over the other side as well. So what we're going to do is just turn it over and put our little bit of tape. Oops. side like so so there's our finished tape splice and as we see here quite a bit of the tape has unraveled so back to that business <laughs> So far so good. We now need to be able to put these bits back in. Um, so we'll grab it and turn it over and that one sits in there. This one sits, oops. Not quite. This one sits in there. And I think we're there. So the, before I screw it all back together, the way to do it is just to test it. So is it running? Yes, it is. Okay, let's screw it back together now.
So there is our finished tape. Now what we need to do now is we need to um, test it in the machine. But the first thing I will do is I'm going to run it, fast forward it through um, a couple of times and just being very careful when we come to towards the end where the break is. Uh, and then we'll play it, have a listen to it, see if it's okay. And if it's okay, we'll digitize it. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, I hope you found this useful. And as, as is always the case with this sort of thing, it's not an exact science. You've got to try different sorts of things to get it to work. Um, but we got there in the end. So thanks very much and I'll see you next time. Cheers now. Bye bye. Oh no, what a disaster.